Hi, in this tutorial, I will show you two ways in which you can schedule an online class with your students on Google Meet. Now, Google Meet, you can see it in the bottom most row, the last icon, Meet. I'm going to click and open that. Opens my meeting, my Google Meet. And all I need to do is click New Meeting to start a new meeting. If I want to add others into this meeting, all I need to do is share this link. I can simply copy this link or click share and it will be shared on various platforms. Either WhatsApp or Google Classroom or Gmail or any other platform that you are using with your students. Now I'll show you another way in which you can schedule a, schedule an online class with your students. I will go over to my Google Calendar for which I will have to download Google Calendar from the Play Store. I have already downloaded Google Calendar. I'll simply open my Google Calendar and I want to schedule the meeting for say tomorrow. So 16th, that's tomorrow. I'm just going to add an event. I'll call it class 5A. Science class. Now there are many things that I can do with this. Firstly, I'll set the time. Say the time is at 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock. And I can click more options to set a repeat of this time. If my classes are every day from 12 to 1, I can select every day. If they're every week, that is every Saturday from 12 to 1, I can select every week. If it's once a month, then every month on 16th, it will be scheduled for uh, 12 to 1. But I can also customize it. So if my classes are happening every Friday or Saturday, I can choose that. Repeats on Friday and Saturday every, every week. And I'll simply select done. Now it repeats weekly on Friday and Saturday at 12 to 1. Now an important feature when you're using Google Meet uh, from your phone or scheduling a meeting uh, on your calendar from your phone, it is important to invite people so that you will have your Hangouts link in that. So I will invite one of my students to this meeting. So what it will do is it will automatically generate a Hangouts Meet link. You can see include video meeting link and dial in details. If I shut this option, the, the meeting link will not go to the recipient. It will basically not generate a Hangout meeting link, but I want it to gener generate a meeting link. So I'll select and I will save. It will ask me if I want to send invitations to guests. I will simply select yes. Now where can I find this meeting link to share with my students is once again, I'll go to Google Meet. And if I refresh my meetings, I have refreshed my meetings and here my science class has appeared. I'll simply go over to this. And here you can see the joining information has appeared. All I need to do is share it with my students via WhatsApp or text message or email or my Google Classroom. A quick tip for teachers who are new to this space. I would like to tell you that use the first option that is create a meeting link right before your class. Uh, what that will help you do is that it will prevent students from misusing a link that is shared with them earlier. So in Google Meet, if you have a link to the meeting, you can join that link at any given time and you can join it before the creator has created, uh, before the creator has joined the meeting. So if you would like uh, to prevent the misuse of the meeting link, I suggest that you send the meeting link only 10 minutes prior to the class after you have joined the meeting. All from this tutorial. If you have any questions or any doubts regarding how to schedule a meeting, please write to us in the comment section down below and we'll try to get back to you with the answers or solutions. Thank you.